Here. Right. How are you doing, boys and girls? In this video, I'm going to show you something really cool with my cousin's NES Classic Mini, or the NES Classic. Now, first thing I'm going to do is plug this in. Okay. Does it go this way? Maybe it goes this way. Okay, there we go. Anyway, um, anyway, um, first thing we're going to do is turn the silly thing on. Okay. Okay, can you see it all right? Damn it. Oops, wrong controller. <laughs> right. Okay, hang on a sec. Let me figure something out. Okay, anyway folks, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to choose a game real quick. Let's choose Kirby's Adventure. What better way to demonstrate than, well, testing one of my favorites. Now, as you can see, it does work. The Classic Controller Pro does work on the NES Classic. I meant to select file two, but oh well. As you can see, the controls work just fine. Ow. Oh well. Wow, this is kind of fun. Now, if you press the home button like I just did, it actually resets the system. It takes you back to the home menu. That's pretty cool. Okay. Now, I don't want to save that. Anyway, that's pretty cool. So, the Classic Controller Pro does, in fact, work for the NES Classic. So, let's shut this thing off and let's go to my Wii U, and I'll be right back with you in a moment. Now that we're... Okay, now as you can see, the Wii Remote is connected to the NES Controller. Maybe the uh, extension cord was a little overkill, so let me go ahead and disconnect that. <laughs> a little tangled up there. <laughs> anyway. Now if we uh, notice here, see how it's oriented? Orient it like this. There you go. Now. <laughs> okay, now as you can see, you use the buttons here we're going to test first we're going to test this an NES game on the Wii U Virtual Console starting with um, starting with Wario Wood oops
Okay. Anyway. Sorry about that. <laughs> I had to reset it because I had already, I was already demonstrating this, but I forgot to record it. So, anyway. Let's try a little bit. Let's go to level one. Oops. Damn it. Well, that works. But as you can see, there is no home button on the controller. Which is where the Wii remote will come in handy for that, I think. Let's reset it before I even think about leaving. And we'll exit out. I had to press the home button on the Wii remote. Let's test a... Nah, let's not test an SNES game, because that won't really work, because you only have two buttons. So now, let's test Shovel Knight. And then we'll test a virtual console game on the Wii, on Wii mode. And then I'll stop the video there. Let's test Shovel Knight. Let's back out. Change some options here. <laughs> nah. Let's just begin. Let's go! Ta-da! The thing that threw me off was A button is to attack, B is to jump. Oh, I found, I bought a little relic. That, well, not a relic, but a little uh, item that allows me to, basically allows me to only dig up once and the mound will be dug up. Ow. As you can see, this feels really good. Kind of like playing an NES game, but in widescreen. Ow. Ow. I should have hooked up my Elgato game capture device, but, you know, like I said before, it's seen better days, it doesn't work too well, I have to basically wrap around it, wrap the little cord around it, just to get it to work. I think there might be something wrong with the USB, with the micro USB jack. Well, type B anyway. Ow. Now nah, I don't want to go that way yet. Ow. 
Ow! Ow. You will die. Going up. Wow, this feels so good. Ow. Wow, this feels so good. Feels like I'm playing an NES game, but in widescreen. Oh, pressing start brings you to the pause screen. Pressing select brings up the menu. But like I said, there's no home button. There's no home button on the NES Classic Controller. So what you have to do is press home either on the Wii U gamepad or on the Wii remote. So let's get out of that and then we'll try a Wii, we'll try a Wii Virtual Console game, see if that works. Let's try one of my favorites. That's right, Castlevania Rondo of Blood. Never thought I'd be playing this with an NES controller, huh? Frollo Moon Sight, Lake Dimension. And it actually works! What do you know about that? That's right, a TurboGrafx-16 CD game works. <laughs> Except I'm sucking real bad. <laughs> Let's reset it first and then we'll back out. Try another game on the Wii Virtual Console service. What can I try? Hmm. Uh. Hey, let's try Space Harrier. I know Obscure Mikolo is going to love that, even though it's just the uh, Oops. That's right, look at that. It works. Never thought you'd see a Sega Master game being played with an NES controller, did you? Oh shit. Oh my god, this feels so good! Uh-oh. Damn! <laughs> oh 
Ow. Oh my god. I suck. Sorry about that, guys. <clears throat> My phone ran out of space. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Anyway, like before, there's no way to uh, get to the home menu without pressing the home button on the Wii Remote. So, yeah. You gotta bear that in mind. games I have that can be used with the classic controller pro I mean, classic NES controller can we try a Sega Genesis game I doubt it <laughs> can't we definitely can't try in any an N64 or N64 game using this but I wonder let's see if this works Can you see this all right? I don't think so. Mm. Oh, well, what do you know? It actually works. I wonder though. Hey, it works. Oh yeah, sorry about that, it was kind of loud. copy with Planoa with me so I could test to see if it works. I guess this is used. Okay. Well, that does work. Right. I don't think a Sega Genesis would work. Sega Genesis game would work too well because you know, um, not that much. Let's 
So, anyway, it works, but I guess that's the end of that for now. Thanks for watching my little video. I'm sorry I had to switch cameras to a lower to a lower resolution PS Vita camera, but my Android tablet was was uh, low on battery and I didn't want to risk it. And yeah, my iPhone ran out of battery. I mean, no, it didn't run out of battery. It ran out of space. <laughs> yeah, it totally filled up. But anyway, in another video, if I if I'm still here in Beeville. I'm going to test this with a special device that you use to hook it up to a, a Mac. It's called the Mayflash. I have a, there's a link to the video where somebody's demonstrating that in the description box below. And until then, this has been Walk Me Through. I'm Mr. Orthopedia saying peace, and that's a wrap. See you soon. Peace! Anyway, we're ready. Okay, now that I'm on the Switch, I mean, on the Wii U. Oh, okay, let's try that again. Okay, now that I'm on the Wii U, we're gonna test a few NES and possibly a SNES.